Okay, I've got the guys together and um, we're going to talk about one touch training and what it teaches and what they think they get out of it and how it improves them as players. So, guys, as the ball's arriving to you, what's the first thing you gotta you got to do before you receive the ball? Scan your shoulder. One at a time. Scan the field. Hand up. Scan the field. Scan the field, right. So, are you looking at the ball or away from the ball? Away. Away from the ball, that's your first thing. What's next? What's the next thing that you should be thinking about? Check your shoulder. Half of you you've already you you've already checked your shoulder and opened up. Think about get your feet ready. what the ball is arriving. You've only got one touch. What have you got to have done in your mind? Make sure who, know who you're passing you to. Know who you're passing to. So the next thing would be you've got to make a decision, haven't you? Yeah. Before you get the ball. Now then, as the ball's arriving, you've scanned, you've looked around, you've made a decision. What have you got to make sure um, is right in terms of your 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 stance. Your body position. Your body position. So what would you, would it be a closed position? An open. Open. And what about your what about your feet? Get them ready. You've got to get lively on your feet, right? So you've got to get your feet ready early. Too many times you re we can receive it, and then the feet are not ready, and then you take an extra touch and you lose possession. Now then, so we haven't even got the ball to you yet. It hasn't even arrived yet. You've had to think about all those things, getting your body think in terms of your mental preparation and your physical preparation what would come next then as the balls arrive in what, what do you think um, make sure you receive it make sure you receive it absolutely so you're receiving it but you've only got one touch so what's important next that you keep what possession. possession of the ball that's right Braden you've got to keep possession of the ball now which means you've got to have good technique and you can only have good technique if your body is ready and your mind is ready before you receive the ball otherwise You'll take an extra touch and you'll probably get closed down in a game. Now, beyond that, so we've we've moved the ball on quickly now. What is next? What are, what are we looking for from you next? So you pa you've passed it. What have you got to do next? Move. Move. Yeah, so you've got to get movement off the ball. So you're passing and you're moving off the ball. So why are you moving off the ball? Options. Give your teammate options. That's good, Braden. Yeah, give your teammate options. So we're so now suddenly, in possession, are we going to be small or are we going to be big as a group? We need to get wide and long, don't we? So we open up and get that movement off the ball. Now then, what might happen in the, in the game situation? You might lose the ball. You might lose the ball. So what what is the next part of the continuum? Would you say? Say that, just say that again, Isaac. Um, we have to get back to defense and close up and get together. You, so you, so you, instant. So where is that affecting you? In your mind, in your body, where? Mind. Initially, in your mind, you've got to be have a good transitional mind, and then you've got to get there with your body, right? So as Isaac says, we go from big to small. We win it. As we win it, what do we go to? Small to small big. Small to big, and we make the area as big as we can. And those are the, all the key points in a continuum of development that, that we've talked about and that we're working on in our training. So all good stuff. Thanks, lads.